Hi, I'm Jeff. We're going to go and have a look at some MoTeC stuff. Yeah, boy. We just done a video on this one. Jeff will put a link up just up here on the compound setup. But this I video, like to do it. Well, you're the man. You <laughs> We've just done a video on this, so check that one out. But this particular video, we've broken it up into two. This is the compound. Now we're going to have a look at what's controlling it. So let's take a look at some MoTeC here. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at this MoTeC gear, shall we, Jeff? Sure thing. Right. Really quick overview. I'm not going to go into the super nitty gritty details, not because I don't want to, but probably mainly because I don't know them all. <laughs> I just know enough to uh, just to tell you what each thing is, and uh, yeah, let's go over it all. So I want to start with my most favourite thing about all this, and that's the dash. This is the C127 logger dash. Really nice. The screen, I've seen these lit up before. The, the screens are super clear. They're real nice. So I'm glad Matt went with that one. That one is the one that I would buy if I was doing it. So that's a real nice piece. And that's got the, was it the GPR drag pack on it, wasn't it? Well, that's the GPR drag package is what's on the ECU. Right. So the MoTeC do a few different packages, uh, starting with the GP Lite, and then you've just got your, your normal general one. And uh, the GPR, this is the GPR drag package, so that's one of the top ones you can get before you go into your fully customised personal packages that really smart people do. So, <laughs> so you've transitioned me straight into that, so yeah, M130, GPR drag package, it's a two connector ECU, so somewhat limited on I.O. For, for a setup like what Matt's doing with the, the compound setup. It's, it's going to have tons and tons of sensors, which he hasn't actually bought them all yet, so that, there'll be another swag of goodies coming at some point. But, uh, so yeah, two connector, really nice ECU. Obviously, this one's got the nice um, M-series fuel model that they invented when they um, wanted to bring out the ECU for the R35. So, it's really nice fuel model. Now, this is what will complement the ECU as far as the fact that it's only a two-pin sorry, a two plug connector. So this is the CAN expansion unit. So this has a ton more IO on it that uh, Matt can wire all his sensors and stuff to. And then he can have, uh, Shannon can do his engine protection and, and whatever other strategies he wants to do. He can do that through the CAN here. And this one also does the EGT stuff as well. I think this one come in a kit with the eight EGT sensors and stuff as well. So that will cover out that one there. We've got the, uh, LTK, LTC NTK, so this is Lambda to CAN and this is for an NTK uh, oxygen sensor which is right here. These ones are superior to the Bosch ones, these ones can handle methanol and much richer fuel mixtures and stuff like that. I think they're more, just a more robust sensor in general as well. I think you'll find a lot of tuners use these on their own uh, sensors when they're dyno tuning and stuff. So a little bit more but money well spent for a more robust sensor in my opinion. And uh, obviously we've got a lot of uh, random plugs and stuff. We've got some douche plugs here and some knock sensors, some stuff for the, for the K-type thermocouples that I'll be welding the sensors in the exhaust manifold. And rounding out, we've got the PDM15, which is the power distribution module. Now, because we're running short on room in Matt's engine bay, in the, his, it's a JZX100, uh, we're going to get rid of the fuse box and stuff that's in there and free up some room for surge tanks and, and there's a lot of stuff going in there so this is going to get rid of a lot of relays and fuses and stuff like that and you can have different strategies for how you want different things to operate and you can control all of it through the ECU and stuff like that. So Shannon at uh, TuneCorp, he's going to have a fat time configuring all this stuff. Um, the world's going to be his oyster as far as what he can do with this stuff, which is why he likes it so much. Shannon does push the MoTeC stuff because it is superior to a lot of other... I think MoTeC is the standard. It's like the gold standard in ECUs. Mm. And it's Australian made. And it's Australian made, yeah, for sure. We love that stuff. So finishing out, we've got the keypad here. Now, this is all obviously user-definable and you can do all sorts of stuff with that. The sticker kit, the suit. So I think this is going to run... I don't actually know what that fuse box runs, but I'm guessing it's like your headlight stuff. Um, a lot of body control type stuff will be run through the keypad, which, um, yeah, it's going to be a good thing. It's, this is the way everyone seems to be going these days. Once you uh, get rid of all the relays and stuff, you can problem solve a lot easier with this stuff as well. You can monitor amp draw, 
and stuff like that. So if you've got a fuel pump that's going out, you might be able to, um, you can go into the logs and see that sort of stuff. So it's super, super, super nice stuff. Uh, I think I've covered most of, uh, of what we've got going on here. We'll do another video probably later on. I've got more fab to do on the actual car itself. But um, yeah, you'll be able to follow along with this build as it goes. There's still a bit more to do, but um, super cool project. And that's why I wanted to just come here, do a video, show some of the stuff. Everyone loves seeing this sort of stuff. It's a, you wouldn't think it's $11,000 sitting here on the bench, but that's what it gets you, but it's really good stuff. It'll last forever. I was gonna say, we're not just saying it's $11,000 to flex on people. We're saying that's the money that it costs to buy top quality gear. Yeah. And we're not even saying to buy top quality gear, you have to buy Motec. What you need to buy is what your tuner is most familiar with. Yeah, that's right. So Shannon, Shannon's uh, Matt's guy for tuning. He's already tuned the car in the previous stock bottom end geese. And uh, this is what he wanted. And that's how we get this package working how we want it in the end. So to get the result, you gotta buy the, the good stuff and it's definitely, definitely hasn't really held back much with the uh, with what the components that he's got, but that's Matt. That, there's a reason we call him Hollywood and this is why, so. <laughs> that's it. If you, uh, if you think you like the look of this project, this, this sort of level of uh, modification, hit the subscribe button because I promise you there will be more videos on this stuff and on the car in general, super unique car. Um, I love doing it, it's a bit of a science fair project and we all love playing around with it. So yeah, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.